everyone, I'm Courtney, and today I will be talking about physician-assisted suicide. So what is physician-assisted suicide? Um, PAS entails um, making lethal means available to the patient to be used at the time of the patient's own choosing. Um, PAS uh, protects people who do not want to suffer uh, drawn-out deaths and respect uh, PAS protects people who do not want to suffer drawn out deaths and protects, respects the patient's autonomy. Um, currently, PAS, taking the name of death with dignity or end of life option, is implemented in six states, including California. Mimicking Oregon's um, Death with Dignity Act, all six states legalize PAS um, with a similar set of strict regulations that terminally ill patients must abide by in order to receive medication. They must be 18 years or older, a resident of the state, mentally competent, have been diagnosed with a terminal illness, with, less, with six months or less to live, and capable of self-administering and adjusting the medication. My partner and I are here to argue the claim that quality of life should overrule the quantity of life. Therefore, we believe that all 50 states should adopt the Oregon method, uh, which gives terminally ill patients the option um, to end their life via uh, physician assisted suicide. In states that have not passed acts like death and dignity, terminally ill patients are forced to resort to other things, such as continuing to suffer, turning to an inadequate alternatives, or even going so far as to uproot their lives and move to the state, to a state that gives them the freedom to do so. Excuse me, to do so. Um, CNN reported in 2014, a 29-year-old California resident was diagnosed with brain cancer. Um, she weighed out all her options, but wasn't able to find a solution that would save her life. California, California hadn't passed a law at the time, so her and her husband moved to Oregon um, so that she could have access to this medical advantage. This gave 29-year-old Brittany Maynard, uh, her husband and her family, peace of mind if the situation allowed it. Before she passed, she shared an emotional letter to CNN. She stated, having this choice at the end of my life has become incredibly important. It has given me a sense of peace during this um, time that has otherwise, been, otherwise would have been dominated by fear, uncertainty, and pain. Um, <clears throat> for those who don't live in states with PAS and are able to move to a state that does have it, they're um, forced to resort to inadequate alternatives such as palliative sedation. Um, for those who don't know, palliative sedation provides enough medication to keep patients continuously unconscious and hopefully free of pain and symptoms. Though they uh, may relieve the symptoms, they don't, they don't save them from their most prominent fears. Um, according to euthanasia.procon.org, um, the site shared that for 20 years, patient requests have been consistently um, due to three main fears, um, which include um, quality of life, loss of autonomy, and loss of dignity. Unfortunately, palliative sedation does not suffice the majority of patients who uh, would benefit from it. Um, secondly, palliative sedation doesn't guarantee a quick death that um, PAS does. PewTrust.org shared a testimony of 52-year-old Jennifer Glass, a San Francisco resident whose lung cancer diagnosis um, foreshadowed a suffocating death. Her husband explained that palliative sedation, while eventually fulfilling um, his wife's wishes and killing her, was not the best alternative. Um, he stated palliative sedation is a slow motion aid in dying, and um, it was better than being awake and suffocating, but it wasn't a good alternative. If PAS uh, was implemented in all 50 states, terminally ill patients would gain freedom to take control of an inevitable ending. Um, for many, being in this circumstance can feel hopeless. Um, these life-ending drugs provided by acts like death with dignity give them a little bit of power, light, and hopefulness. With physician-assisted suicide, patients um, have the opportunity to decide when enough is enough, and they get to decide where they die and who they die um, around. We must keep in mind that these, pe these people are not choosing death. They're simply um, deciding how to deal with their circumstance. Um, California State Senator Bill Monning, who co-authored the um, End of Life Option Act, stated it best when saying the person is dying. The people they have met with, they want to live. They are not choosing death. Um, the decision that has been made, that has been made unfortunately because of an uncontrolled disease, a terminal cancer. What PAS does is allow them to gain autonomy and self-determination in what will be the path to their death. PS is for someone who is tired of being hopelessly bedridden and watched by their family members with pitying eyes. Someone who has had enough and has had, who has made their peace with death and who has gotten to say their last goodbyes and is prepared for what's to come. Um, PAS will grant individuals with some happiness, some power, and ultimately will allow them to make a decision for themselves that no one else should have a right to say. Thank you.